so now the next thing that we will do is whenever uh, when the user select any video and start uploading you know of course we first compress that video file okay as you know that this method will return that compressed video file so the important thing is basically each video when we display it on the user profile okay so we must have the thumbnail image for that you know so that when the user tap on that thumbnail image then it should start playing the video you know on the profile basically just like in TikTok when you visit someone profile then on the that person profile you see all of his videos so each video has their own thumbnail image so that is what we are going to do now that is from the video file from the video file we are going to get thumbnail image let's give it name as thumbnail image and this method will receive that I mean to this we will pass one thing as a parameter okay which we will receive here as a parameter basically and that will be that video file path which the user is going to upload okay of course we want the thumbnail image from that specific video which the user is going to upload okay so that's why it will receive this here as a parameter and from this we will get the thumbnail image so what we can do is we can simply say that using the video compress we can do that we can say video compress dot get file thumbnail and we have to pass the path of that video from which we want to get the file thumbnail so we can say we can pass that video file path to it okay so what it will do it will get the thumbnail it will get the thumbnail from that video thumbnail means the image okay so it will get the thumbnail or you can say the Im thumbnail image from that video and that image file or you can say that uh, thumbnail image we will assign to a variable and we will give it name as thumbnail so that thumbnail from that video we will assign it to this thumbnail image and of course this method will return that thumbnail image so whenever we call this method it will return this thumbnail image